Today, we're talking about those dreaded credit card processing fees and whether you can and whether you should transfer those fees to your guests. Cue the intro. Hey there, Dave Allred, the real barman here from barpatrol.net and orderpatrol.net. Today, I'm going to help you out with those credit card processing fees that are absolutely butchering your profits at the end of each month and the end of each year. Most of you probably just take this in stride because you figure there's not much you can do about it, but that's simply not true. Now, I understand that providing a convenient payment method for the customer is good business. Okay, 70% of all transactions are credit cards now, and you can't just be a cash only place if you really want to compete. But placing the entire burden of that convenience exclusively on the restaurant owner is brutal, especially if you're an independent bar or restaurant where the margins are so razor thin. So what can you do about this? Well, as I'm sure you cleverly deduced from the title of this video, you can and you should consider transferring that burden to your guests because it is far less burdensome on them than it is for you. And for many of you, I know your initial reaction might be, no way, my guests would be pissed, okay? They're gonna end up looking like this guy, okay? And they're gonna go somewhere else and I'm gonna lose all my regulars and I can't afford that. But listen up, because this is simply not true. Okay, we've tested this ourselves with Order Patrol, which is our mobile order and pay system, and we've had feedback from a large pool of owners who have tried transferring the surcharge, and the result has been very little pushback. Check it out. Okay, as everyone knows, processing fees for bars and restaurants will commonly range right around 2 to 4%, with the most common average being right at 3%, with the transaction fee average being right about 25 cents. So if you do the math and your average check size is say $50, the surcharge on that check for your guest based on the averages would be $1.60. Now that's very minimal for your guests, but for an independent restaurant doing like a million dollars a year in sales, that's an extra 35 to $40,000 in expenses just for providing convenience. Okay, in an industry where the average profit margin is three to 6%, that extra three to 4% on the convenience fees is huge for your bottom line. So if you're a little bit intrigued by this and you're asking yourself, hmm, should I consider doing this for my bar and restaurant? The answer is yes. Okay, I'm not gonna be like one of those blog posts where the author is all wishy-washy and they're like, there are many options for you to consider and many things for you to weigh before making a proper decision in course of action, blah, blah, blah. You don't need any fence writing, try to please everyone opinion here. I'm gonna shoot you straight and just tell you what I think. In this case, unless you're a high volume, high profit establishment, there's no reason to not at least get a portion of this money back. Okay, if you're really stressed out about it, do half, okay? Share half the charge with your guests so it's collaborative. Okay, but after taking a closer look at this, there's no reason for you not to put this system in place in my humble opinion. Okay, so if I've convinced you, or even if I haven't, but you're still considering it, okay, let's talk about how to implement this. Okay, or better yet, let's do a little Q&A because you might have some questions about the logistics of putting this in place. So let's ask the obvious one first. Okay, is it even legal to transfer the credit card fees to the guest, also known as a surcharge? In most states, yes. Okay, there are currently five states that either prohibit or limit a surcharge, and they are Colorado, Connecticut, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Massachusetts which is always difficult for me to say. And this is baffling to me. Okay, I don't know why the states are protecting the people who are dining out, which is a luxury, not a necessity, and they're punishing business owners just trying to survive. Don't get me started on this. I get all heated up. I get very protective of my independent bar and restaurant owner peeps. Anyway, the rest of the states have approved surcharging as long as you follow a few simple rules. In addition, the credit card companies also have their own surcharging policies, but many of them are common to the state. In fact, let's go ahead and look at Visa's policy page on this to give you an idea. So if we go to their page here, and it's a, it's a good little graphic, over here on the right, they have Visa's position on surcharging. They are against it, surprise, surprise. This is completely self-serving. This is because they make less money if the customers are paying cash or they're being deterred from paying. This is completely self-serving. They could give a crap about the customers and they could give a crap about the restaurant owner. Okay, this is completely because they wanna make more money. Just wanna make that clear. So over here is surcharging permitted uh, in my state. Again, I listed the states here. 
you might want to check anyway. It's always changing. Depends on when you watch this video. Always make sure that you have your bases covered. Uh, when can I begin? So MasterCard's the same way. You'll need to check with American Express and Discover, but they'll probably be the same way. They need a 30-day notice required before you start doing the surcharging. Um, how much can you surcharge? You can't make a profit on surcharging, just so you know. Okay, you can only charge the amount that the processing fee is that the credit card companies are charging. So you can't try to make a profit off of it. Okay, um, what must I disclose? So in Visa's case, and usually in the state's case, you have to disclose it at the point of entry, which I'll show you in a second, the example of signs that Visa has. Um, and then you have to put it on the itemized surcharge amount on the receipt and the ticket that they receive. So you're being very upfront about it. Okay, and you can actually click on a link here uh, and Visa will take you to these signs. Um, here's one says, we impose a surcharge on credit cards that is not greater than our cost uh, of acceptance. And then here's another example. We impose a surcharge of blank percent on the transaction amount on Visa credit cards products, which is not greater than our cost of acceptance. We do not surcharge Visa debit cards. So that brings up the other point. Another question is, um, will can you do a surcharge on debit cards? The answer is no. That's because there's no processing fee on debit cards. So you can't do it on there. There's no need to do it on there. But to do so is taking a profit from it. So you cannot do it on there. For your convenience, I will put the links for Visa and MasterCard's surcharge policies in the description below. So you can just click on there, go check out their policies like I just showed you. Make sure you have all your bases covered. American Express and Discover will be similar, but make sure you go look those over first as well. Next, can a surcharge be charged in other countries other than the US? No. Next question. Can I require a minimum credit card purchase? Yes, you can. In most states, you can, you can require up to a $10 minimum charge if you want. And the final question, which I know many of you have, even if you won't admit it, is what do I say to my guests who complain about it? For this, I want you to remember one thing. Okay, the way you feel about your restaurant and the value you put on it your guests are going to feel that. And what I mean by this, and I need a separate video for this alone. What I mean by this is if you feel like you're a place that needs to offer cheap food and cheap drinks and offer specials and discounts just to get people in the door, then you don't think very much of your place and your guests aren't going to think very much of your place either. On the other hand, if you provide a remarkable experience for your guests, all right, you treat them like family, you make them feel special, you don't have to explain anything. Okay, you don't have to apologize for anything. 99% of them won't even question it. So when someone asks what this surcharge fee is all about, okay, you offer a sincere, empathetic response. And I would have a manager or owner come over and talk with them to show that you really care. Okay, I wouldn't leave it up to the servers. All right, you tell them, hey, you know, I understand why you would question the surcharge. You're welcome to pay cash and there won't be any surcharge. But, you know, we're just a independent restaurant. We're trying to succeed. And these processing fees are killing us at the end of each month. And we're looking to offset those. Our other option was to raise menu prices. Okay, but to be honest, if I raised every menu item just $1, your check would be another 6 to $8 more. As it is, it's only $1.50 more. Okay, this way we're able to survive, we're able to keep providing you with amazing food and service, and I'm able to continue to pay my staff to do so. And that's it. Okay, be light about it. Okay, this explanation alone creates empathy from them and the tough situation you're dealing with to keep providing a great place for them to come to. I guarantee you, they won't have a problem with it. Most guests don't anyway. All right, most of them more than anything, are just curious about what this surcharge is. And then lastly, of course, make sure that your POS system is able to print out a receipt that says surcharge on the ticket because that's one of the policies you need to abide by. And that's going to do it. Okay, I hope this helped. All right, if you're someone who's been considering this or more than likely you've never even considered it, it's time to start considering it. Okay, again, it's a very small fee for them, but it's a huge chunk of capital for you. All right, be valuable, be amazing. They won't even care. I want to thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.